chair is important and we are starting. So 10 minutes of core, everybody loves core. I know that growing stronger every day. Awesome. All right, so what I need you to do, ladies, if you don't have the block, grab towel, doesn't really matter. Place it between your feet. What we're gonna try and do here is keep our hips very steady because when we start going side to side, because you have this block or your towel that you don't want to lose in the process, you're gonna have to really move through the rotation. Your arms are going to be at a T, and take an inhale and drop it down to one side and lift up, stay on the same side. So I'm starting on my right. And each time you're gonna try and bring the legs just a tiny bit deeper and closer to the floor and you're exhaling on the way up, three and four, shoulder blades are on the floor and five and definitely warming up your back muscles as well. Good, six, seven, I'm gonna rotate a little bit, I'm eight, nine, and 10, awesome. So let's try and reset and we're coming to the left side. Down, just come as far as you're ready to open up, make sure that your right shoulder blade is on the floor and as you continue to open up, you're gonna go a little bit deeper and don't lose whatever it is that you have now between your feet. And four. And five. Six, as close to 90 degrees as you can. And seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Awesome. All right. Still, one last thing that we're gonna do here with the, whatever it is that you have between your feet, you're gonna drop it to the left, extend it away from you a couple of inches above the floor, bring it to the right, and again, five times in one direction, bring it right above your hips. That part is important, and three, and two, and one, good, now come to the right, away from you, and to the left, and up, right, out, left, two, right, out, left, three, right, out, left, four, right, out, left, Five. Great. So, should have definitely found it not just in your core, but also in your leg muscles. Fantastic. All right, hands behind your head. And we're going to go for easy crunches. Your left leg is going to come up to the ceiling as you do that. Ready? Inhale and one, two, don't rush, please. Three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine. Stay here, release your right hand and press forward, up, touch the toes, and again, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Left leg back on the floor. Once again, crunches, right legs straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, full expression, nine, and stay here, left hand, and go, and again, and again, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice, okay. And we're gonna go into side planks. 
Feel free to do them on your knee, it doesn't really matter. Don't overwhelm your shoulders. This is an easy day. You have had a full week of working out, so give yourselves a well-deserved break. So, you're gonna go ahead and lift up, bringing that right up, so I'm on my left side of my body, and I am coming into my knee plank, bringing my right leg all the way out. Breathe, good, so keep your leg off the floor. Drop it down and lift it up. Now, if you do want a challenge, go ahead and place your left outer edge of your left foot on the floor and drop. Just the trick here is not to drop your right leg. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Now go ahead and drop your right leg down and up. One, two, three, keep that left oblique very engaged. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rotate. Now you are on your, uh, this time I will ask you to be on your toes. You're on your elbows. Rotate your left hip on the floor and tap it and lift up stay on the left side two still working on that left side three four five six seven eight nine and ten awesome let's go and do the same thing and i'm much much warmer now yay good morning Good morning. All right, so once again, feel free to start on your knees. Left leg is off the floor and we're dropping. Otherwise, you're on the edge of your right leg. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left leg up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Rotate and right hip only. Rotate, tap, three, rotate it back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, great job. All right, press into your elbows, press it into your heels, and scooch slightly down with your legs so that now your elbows are actually in front of your face, not under your shoulders. Drop your hips down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, small movement, eight, nine, ten, and now press into your toes and float forward and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, don't drop your head, nine, stay here. So you have pressed your body forward, ten, nine, you're on your tippy toes, seven, six, five, don't collapse, three, two, one, collapse. Ah. In fact, drop your hips on the floor, pull your shoulders back, and find a really wonderful stretch in all your abdominal muscles. Yay. All right, we are 10 minutes into it, and welcome to the stretch part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare a chair. We are definitely gonna be using it or some kind of a fairly tall stool. All right, let's come into a nice kneeling position. If you find that sitting down on your heels is a little uncomfortable, lift up. Give yourself a little break and then come back down. We're gonna open up our spine Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Grab your towel or your belt. 
This is a must for our stretch classes. Good. Nice and easy, easy hold. So your thumbs are facing each other, your palms are facing down, or your knuckles, I guess. And you're gonna start to lift your arms all the way up. Nice and easy. Really, Saturday morning. Let's love ourselves. Easily pull in one direction, in the other direction, just kind of feeling, where are we today? What's going on this morning? I'm barely awake. No, I've already done two classes. Good for you. <laughs> right arm up, left one back. And switch, easy does it. You're just warming up all of those tiny muscles around each of your shoulders. Get a feel for where you are. This time you're gonna bring the left arm slightly farther back and now your right one slightly out back. And a little bit more and we're gonna hang out here. So see how I'm standing now facing myself. See how my arms are such that being uh, strap is almost completely vertical. That's what you're trying to reach. However, please listen to your own body. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Very gently lift up. You're switching between the muscles. Your arms are still behind you. And now we're going to go in the opposite direction. Too much? Release. Please don't worry about it. Well, we'll come back to this shoulder stretch and we'll compare how we feel now versus how we're going to feel in about 45 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. Woo! Good. Very gently lift, 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 lift. One more time. Really go ahead and open your chest muscles. Awesome. All right. Go ahead and release that. You are in the tabletop position for now and I want you to go ahead and round your back, settle into your hips, Please grab your chair, people. And in this position, no one is watching. Give me a nice big hip dance. Woo. Three, four times in one direction. Keep your back really round. And three, four times in the opposite direction. Beautiful circles. Each one of them is more beautiful than the other. Nice, now roll your shoulders back, soften your elbows, open up your chest and drop your belly. Good, and now you're gonna go ahead and once again go for your hip dance, except that instead of going for rotations, you are going for kind of sweeping motion side to side. Get your shoulder to dance with you. A couple more times. Very nice. All right, so here comes the chair. And we're going to either pull it in or come to it. Ugh. All right. Place your arms on the chair. So I'm just placing my forearms on the chair. You will be able to adjust the, any which way your mid back feels good, your hips feel, feel good. So hips are slightly behind your knees. And very gently, you're going to start to drop your chest down. Settle in here. This could be pretty intense. It is definitely the underarm muscles, the top of your arm muscles, and it's definitely your mid-back muscles. You lift at any point in time to kind of readjust, reset, maybe move a little bit further into the chair, maybe away from it, whatever works. And now, go once again into it, start to relax and drop your head. Breathe. Three more breath. Easy does it, this is intense. Nice, very slowly. Start to tuck your tailbone under, because what I want you to do is use your core muscles as you come out of this one. Good. Reach your hips back, slide, and it's now just your hands that are on the chair, and move gently side to side. If it feels okay, you can drop your head. If it doesn't, keep your neck active. Neutral though. Very nice. Tuck your tailbone under, round your back. Awesome. All right. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and start to stretch our inner thighs. I am gonna present flexibility challenge. You're going to start in the knees, on your knees and on your hands. And we're gonna go ahead and bring our left leg out. So where I really want you to feel the stretch is basically in the top part of your inner thighs as close to your pelvis as possible. If your knee is not very, um, if you have any knee issues, you may potentially have a nice stretch right here on the inner side of the knee. And very slowly and gently press your hips forward and back. Now, if you think you can, go ahead and lift and place your left foot with the inner edge on your chair. Now, if you have been doing my mobility method, movement method, whatever it is called, you definitely should be able to reach that. And once again, we are moving our body gently forward and back. Settling in, settling in, settling in. So I will show both variations with the chair and without the chair. So once again, if the chair is too high, drop it on the floor, we're doing the same thing, okay? Now, from here, you're gonna find a fairly neutral position. This should feel good. Please make sure that it does. You're gonna rotate your left leg, and it is now with toes facing up. Same thing applies to the floor, okay? So now we're switching, and I actually highly encourage you to try both variations and see where you feel the stretch better. What I am looking for is, once again, very close to pelvis, but it is definitely your hamstrings. Feels bad, try it here, does not feel good, drop it on the floor. So, and now we're gonna go ahead and rotate our um, toes, facing forward and facing out. Facing forward and facing up, two more times. Facing forward, facing up, stay up and breathe into it. One more breath. All right, release if you were on the chair. Go ahead and rotate now to the right side of your body with your right knee forward. And it's almost like pigeon, except that your right heel is right under your um, pelvis. And I want you to press your hands into the floor and press your left heel out. So you should feel a good stretch in your calf and in the sole of your left foot. And you can play a little bit with going a little bit more forward and a little bit more back. We'll get very deep into our hips today. So we're just prepping all the other muscles around it. Good. If you walk a lot and if you start feeling that the soles of your feet are too tight, your feet, if you are, are on your feet um, an extended period of time, this is really a very good stretch. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go to the other side. So I'm gonna move my very crazy heavy chair onto the side and I'm gonna do it on this side. Okay, so once again, we're starting in the kneeling position and first thing first, I'm going to bring my right leg out. And once again, right away, I should start feeling a good stretch in the thigh all the way to the pelvis and some of it also on the inner side of my knee. And I'm moving forward and back, and I'm kind of getting a feel for it. Now I'm going to try and do the exact same thing with my foot on the chair. Keep that knee really far away from it. And again, I'm going forward and back. You're gonna find your own variation. As long as it is enjoyable, as long as you're feeling like, and please play with it. Like how far forward should you go? How far back should you go? Where else do you feel it? Does it feel good? Does it feel like you're really opening things up? If the answer is yes, you're on the right track. Okay, 
Now we're going to go ahead and start to rotate our right toes up. Good. And now we're going to go back and forth. Toes forward, toes up, forward, up, forward, and stay up. Good. Five full breaths. Find the exact position where you're really feeling a really, really wonderful stretch. It's really deep for the hamstrings. Very nice. If you are on the chair, go ahead and drop that right foot back on the floor. And now we're going to rotate over to the left side, left knees forward, tuck your left heel under your left hamstrings and your left side of your glute. Drop your right knee on the floor. Actually, don't drop it, sorry. Place, press into your hands and press into your right heel here. You might feel it not just in the soles of your feet, sole of your foot but also in your right hip flexor possibly in your right hip there's a lot of things here happening but i'm really interested in the sole of your right foot so press into your toes forward and then press back into your heel a couple more times here very nice all right drop it we're going to sit down in the chair so what we're gonna play with now is our seated pigeon. I know it sounds funky, but I'll explain as we do that. All right, I'm gonna start on my left side and grab and um, place my left ankle right on top of my right knee. So my left knee is right away kind of lifted up. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to press my knee down gently start to open up now easy 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 i'm going to start leaning but what i'm going to do is i'm going to lean toward my toes so i'm still applying that pressure on my left heel i'm sorry left down knee with my left elbow or you can place your hand there whatever works best easy does it but your rotation is now towards your toes we're going to hang out here anything becomes uncomfortable you know what to do people Release it, lean back. So this is the, the difference between this one and our regular pigeon is that your lower back is much more neutral here. It's not as arched and you can really concentrate on the other thing is your knee angle. Usually we tuck our knee in such a way that the angle is pretty narrow. And for a good reason, because we're applying so much pressure and on top of that, we're putting the entire weight of our body on it. So now we can pretty much do the same thing, except that we can play with the angle. And right now mine is at about 50 degrees. All right, release that. I hope that felt okay. You may have also felt a nice stretch in your outer calf. Now we're gonna do the same thing, except that you're gonna press gently onto both your foot and your um, knee and start pressing your chest towards your shin. And once again, your lower back should be very comfortable. Breathe. Easy does it. Keep going closer and closer. Believe it or not, my hip is actually clicking. It's almost like it's coming into place. Breathe, breathe, breathe. We're hanging out here. Each one of these stretches is at least 30 seconds. One more breath, please. Very nice. Go ahead and release that. Once again, keep listening to your body. Now, 
you know what we're gonna do, the ultimate, and we're gonna go ahead and rotate our body now toward our left knee. What I'm hoping for is as your hips are opening up, you also observe the difference between how all of these three stretches felt. If you are very flexible in the hip, release, and draw your chest all the way to your knee. But please, please, please be very, very careful and support yourselves with your arms, hands, the opposite leg. Keep observing how you feel because we're gonna switch now and when we go to the other side, I promise you, you're gonna feel completely different. One more breath, please. Awesome, wherever you are, very slowly come in and check the position of your knee. Remember what my knee looked like when I just started it? I do. All right, let's start that on the other side. Right ankle, left knee, settle in, yay. All right, right hand first, easy does it. And then after that, I'm gonna actually move and place my elbow on it. Inhale, and with an exhale, I'm moving toward my toes. Remember, if you're really tight at first, it's gonna feel like Ugh! Don't give up. Release it if you need to, and then go back into it. It'll open up, I promise, promise, promise. Just stick with it. Very nice. Go ahead and release that. Keep the pressure on your right knee and then start to lean forward towards your shin. There's a ton of muscles there that are tiny. They're ligaments, they're tendons. There's obviously fascia. And we're just trying so very hard here to open everything, everything, everything. Shoulders relaxed. Spine is relaxed, lower back, you should not feel it at all in your lower back. Good, and go ahead and lift that 30 seconds later. And the last one is going to be all the way to the right side. We're still pressing and um, I'm flexible enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hands and move all the way into that right knee. But I will still support myself with my hands. Use this chair to your advantage. If you're moving forward, place your hand, right hand on the back of the chair if you need to. And really adjust in such a way that you can bring the chest to that right knee as much as possible. Whatever works the best. We're gonna go into hamstrings after this. And then we're gonna come back to shoulders and the back. One more breath, please. Awesome. All right, I'm not even pressing my knee down. I can definitely feel the difference. I went all the way into my sit bone. Yay. All right, we don't need the chair, but keep it right now, but keep it handy. Actually, we might need the chair. All right, so we're gonna go for hamstring stretch. Come into your tabletop position, sorry, um, tabletop position and from here, find your way into down dog. Shift your hips gently side to side, the first one of those hamstring stretches. And you should also feel a good stretch in your calves. Awesome, all right, drop your knees down. Keep your left uh, toes tucked in. Just because 
it's that extra on four hours the soles of our feet bring the right leg forward and straighten it so this is a very typical uh, stretch and we have done it many times so we're going to add a little bit of rotation in our spine and see if that makes a difference but we'll also experiment and it's going to be for just a moment but only after i feel comfortable that everybody has warmed up their hamstrings okay so drop your chest as far wherever you are keep your back nice and flat shoulders are back chest is open you're going to place your left hand on the floor and you're going to raise your right arm up if this is uncomfortable, place your right hand onto your lower back. The point here is that by moving your left shoulder towards your right knee or by rotating your spine, you're really increasing that stretch. If it's too much, I hope it's not. But if it is, obviously play a little bit with the rotation. We've got 20 more seconds here. Keep relaxing your shoulders. But Rotation really means a lot. Ten seconds. Good. Release that right hand. Rotation has changed. Shift your hips side to side. All right, if you are ready for a little experiment, let's play with it. If that's not an option, just stay in this exact stretch for another three breaths. If you think you can, shift your right heel onto the chair, grab onto the chair, fold forward. So your left knee is on the floor, breathe, if it's too intense, you know to bring your right leg back on the floor. One more breath. Awesome, coming back out. Now, we're gonna try and do the exact same thing on the other side. So we're back on our knees and left leg comes forward. Keep your toes tucked in if you can. Keep your, keep your right toes tucked in as well. And we start to play here, shifting our hips gently side to side and lowering our chest and up as close to the knee as possible. Shoulders are back, back is as flat as you can have it. Playing here with it. Neck is relaxed. So, we're ready. Right hand remains on the floor and left arm reaches, 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 reaches toward the ceiling. Once again, if you don't want to torture your arm, feel free to place it on your um, tailbone. The more you're bringing that right shoulder into the left plane of your body, the more you're going to be feeling the stretch here. Ten more seconds, please. Very nice. Reposition yourselves. And once again, you can just continue playing here for the next three to five breaths. Or you can challenge yourselves by bringing your heel onto the chair and use the chair for the hands. I know exactly who can, who can totally do this. Easy does it. If you start feeling that it becomes too intense, please back away. I don't want you guys overextended. We're going to go for a whole bunch of twists in a minute. Nice. Go ahead and release that. Awesome. Right hand is going to be on your chair. Once again, drop your hips and go ahead and bring your left arm out and you're twisting and you're also really, really stretching your right shoulder here.
Two more breaths. Lift up. Left forearm and hand on the chair. Right one goes under. Feels different, doesn't it? Relax. Five breaths all together here. Nice, go ahead and lift up. And one more time, and see if there's a difference. So your forearms there, you can clasp your hands if that makes a difference so that your hands don't slide. And start to drop your chest down, feeling a nice stretch, underarms, and if it feels okay, drop your head. Is there a difference? Breathe. Good, tuck your tailbone under, use your core muscles to help you come out of this one. Round your back, let's do the opposite to what we just did, awesome. All right, let's go ahead and sit nice and comfortable now. Clasp your hands, place them on the back of your head, next, inhale. And with an exhale, press your hands into the back of your head, pressing that chin towards your chest, and now press your head into your hands. Open up, chin up, chin up, chin up, and again, hands. Chin and head. You're warming up your muscles here. Two more times, one more time, sorry, all the way down. This is your hands that are pressing your chin down. Your neck is resisting, and now your head is pressing your hands up, 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 up. Good, and now relax. Relax your shoulders, chin down just a little bit, and that's it. We're in the stretch position. Elbows drop. Back is very straight. Make sure that it's not round. In this position, press your left palm into the left side of your head and rotate your chin towards your right underarm, easy. This is intense, so please, please, please listen to your body. And now your right palm starts to press into the right side of your head, the back of your head, and you're rotating your chin towards your left, left underarm. Just three breaths, because these are very intense and I'm a little worried here. Keep pulling your shoulders back here for me. And release the pressure, lift your elbows, release your hands. Settle in here and lift your chin. Good, easy. Rotate now over to the right side and rotate your chin to the left side. So, and then once again, roll your shoulders up back and down and we are in a kneeling position once again with our toes tucked in and we're sitting down on our heels if available. If not, lift up. All right. Let's do the exact same thing we started with, which is our strap was coming all the way above our head. And gently pull to one side and to the other side and roll your shoulders back and go ahead and easy, bring the right arm up, left one back. Inhale and with an exhale, gently switch, continue. And each time you're gonna go a little bit deeper and suddenly, Suddenly, we feel like, whoa, it's actually pretty easy. I hope. 
One more time to the left. And one more time to the right. Good, and now bring your arms behind you and see if you can hide the strap behind your arms. So it's really parallel to the floor. Keep your chin up, keep your shoulders open and rotate your knuckles now so that your hands are facing away from each other. And give me small movements up and down. Three, four, five, bring it back to neutral position, continue to rotate now your thumbs are away from each other and your uh, hands are facing down. And again, five, four, three, two, one, and continue to drop your arms down, 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 down. Oh my gosh. We are feeling so much more open. All right. Now, we're gonna go into hip, left um, knee forward, and it is under right one in the right on top of it. We're finding our nice, wonderful hip stretch. And now we're gonna start adding all sorts of twists to it. So settle in. Please make sure that your back is very straight. Reach both of your arms up, 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 up. Separate your hands and we're gonna start to rotate to the right. So your left hand ends up on your right knee and your right hand ends up behind you. So I'm gonna turn so that I can show you what I'm looking for. The back is still erect. We're not rounding our back. We are being really particular about it. So our necks are pretty open. So if you feel comfortable looking over your right shoulder, please do. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Settle in here. Shift your hips side to side. You'll feel the difference in the way that twist feels if you shift your hips side to side a little bit. Good, now place your right hand further up and see if you can reach in left hand, left big toe. And now, with your next exhale, rotate your right hand so that it rotates your shoulder out just a little bit. Good. One more breath. Good, 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 good. Coming back in and switching. So, right one under and left one over. Hips are square. Find it, settle in here. Once again, shift your hips side to side. Everything is much more open, so this should not be really very hard. Once again, bring your arms all the way up. Separate your rib cage from your hips. Really long waist. And then when your hands land, you're gonna end up in a nice big twist. Right hand on your left knee, left hand behind you. And if it feels okay, please look over your left shoulder. And here, once again, your back is super straight. Start to move your hips gently side to side. If you end up cracking, I wanna be paid as a chiropractor. Good, if you can, reach your right hand and grab your right big toe and place your left hand such that your left shoulder goes slightly back. And as always, the first one to do 360, get the prize. One more breath here. Yay. Reset. Once again, we're facing our chair. One last time, we're going to go for a nice big stretch on the arms and spine. You're on your knees, hips are square. Bring your forearms, settle in here and start to drop. Drop your head. It should feel so much more open. I hope it is. I'll hear your opinion very shortly. We're almost done.
One more breath, please. Nice. I don't even need to tuck my tailbone under to get out of this one because my shoulders are so much more comfortable. Yes. Left leg out. Lift. Rotate. Pigeon. Check and see what the angle of your knee is now. Is there a difference? There may not be, but there may be. You may be a little bit more comfortable bringing your shin a little bit more parallel to the edge of the mat. Settle in. You're very welcome to go now for the next 30 seconds into an inactive pigeon, or you can continue staying here in active pigeon using the weight of your body. Breathe wherever you are, relax. This should be pleasant. This should be yummy. Try not to roll onto your right hip. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Very good. Let's switch. Left one forward. Rotate. Easy does it. Find the angle. Maybe it's different. Maybe it's not. But hopefully it is easier to get into it either way. Settle in, 30 seconds, any which way. And again, please note the difference between the two sides. One more breath. <sighs> Yay, roll over and bring the legs in front. Reach one more time. And we are done for the day.